What's up everyone, Adam here from Cape Crawlers, and today we're gonna to do a motor swap. We're gonna put the high-speed motor in our FCX24 Max Smasher. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Got a fun video today. We're gonna to do our first mod on the FCX24 Max Smasher monster truck. Now, we've been having a blast with this thing. Still waiting on my blue one. They sold out so quick, I didn't get a chance to get my blue one, but as soon as they restock, I'm gonna get on that so I can have my Bigfoot, my nostalgic Bigfoot. Can't wait for that. But in the meantime, Axel and I have been having so much fun with the white Max Smasher here. But I just got my hands on a bunch of FMS stuff. And a lot of it's for the power wagon and just some spare parts. But I did get a couple of the high speed motors. Now, I, I've seen some videos of this floating around. Matt over at 2FMRC has done a lot of motor work on these Max Smashers. And I, I saw that video of Matt's and I saw how fast this thing was with the high speed motor in it. So I had to get them. I knew right away this thing was gonna be even more fun with all that power. So we got our hands on a couple of them. And today I'm gonna do a swap and I'm gonna surprise Axel with the high speed motor. So he's always looking for more power, more speed. So it's gonna be perfect for him and it's gonna be a fun project. So we're gonna swap it in and then surprise him with it. We'll do some speed runs, some tests, and then see how it goes. But let's take a look at the goodies that I got from FMS and then we'll start the install and see how this thing works. So here's my pile of upgrades and extra parts that I got from FMS. I got quite the haul. So a lot of this is just proactively getting things in order in case parts break because it takes a long time to get parts from FMS because it comes from overseas. So I like to get a good bunch of parts to have on hand just in case. So I got I got spare decals, you know, I remember I was impatient and kind of screwed up the water decals on this thing initially. So I got a couple new sets I'm looking forward to trying. I got an extra set for the blue one when I get it. So I just being prepared here. I got some extra decals. Like I said, a lot of this was for the power wagon, but some of this is transferable. I got an extra servo. I got a bunch of extra grills because Axel and I have both broke the grills on our power wagon. We got, what, three, three or four of these. I don't remember how many I got. I got a whole bunch of them. So the grills for the power wagon. I got the variable speed servo. So I got an extra servo for the transmission just in case. I'm not having any issues, but again, wanted to have one on hand. extra servo horns so one of the things that we've run into with the power wagon you know, on both of ours both mine and axles is that the servo horns strip out really really easy so i got a couple of replacements here i already put one on his power wagon interesting these are a little smaller than the ones that come on it from the factory and i also noticed that it looks like the max smasher servo horn is different than the FCX24 power wagon. This one looks a little more, I don't know, stronger maybe. It, it's, it's just got a different design on it. So maybe this one will hold up better than the power wagon did. But in any case, we've got a bunch of extras now. Extra roll cage for the power wagon. I did get the metal gear set also for the power wagon as well. FMS did send me some of these new wheels and tires that they got out. These are pretty neat. Because again, I'll probably throw these on the power wagon just to take a look. But these are kind of cool. You know, they'll fit either build. They're big. You know, I put I had some out of the package earlier. So here's some right here. If we look at it in perspective, yeah, these are these are big tires, tall. So they are about the same height as the monster truck tires, much thinner. But you know, just cool, different stuff. I like to see they're putting out a bunch of different options and upgrades. It's really neat. Here we go. We're getting to the good stuff now. Of course, it's right at the bottom. Here we go. So we got the high-speed motors. I got a couple of these. My plan is to do one in my blue one and one in axles. So we've got these high-speed motors. Super, super inexpensive stuff. 13 bucks. For these motors it looks identical virtually identical to the stock motor in there 
no stickers or anything on it. It doesn't have the FMS badging or any other identifiers on there. It's just a nice, clean, kind of black piece of hardware. So it looks good, ready to go. Metal pinion gear already on it, very cool. So let's get in this. I'm gonna open this thing up and do a swap. Before I do so, I am gonna kind of coerce Axel into doing some speed tests. I'm not gonna tell him what it's for, but we're gonna do some baseline runs for speed and then I'm gonna get working on this thing and then we'll surprise him with it. So let's check it out. All right, I'm gonna count us down. Are you ready? So we've got Max Smasher on the left, Power Wagon on the right, same exact power plant. Ready to go, buddy? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oh, you jumped. I still think the Max Smasher was faster. Whoever All right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, I think it was a tie. All right, I'm gonna do a voiceover and a time lapse with the install here. As you can see, it's really pretty simple stuff. Four screws on the bottom of the chassis. Pull the motor transmission right out, just like an SCX24. Take the transmission cover off here. When you do pop this off, there are a lot more gears in here than an SCX24. You know, you got the, the two-speed transmission. There's a lot going on in here, but it's easy to work with. I, then again, similar to an SCX24, a couple screws to take the motor off. When we look at the new motor here, almost identical. I mean, if you didn't have the stickers on the old motor, it'd be hard to tell them apart. And again, bolting it up, the plate is cut out in the exact shape of the pinion gear. So it, it there's a very tight fit there with the motor. So, but again, very easy to put in. It slides right in the plate and then goes together very simple. On the bottom of the transmission case there and right near the drive shaft, there is the little knob that operates the two-speed transmission. So just be mindful of that when you're putting it back together, but otherwise very, very straightforward. And that's pretty much it. So our motor swap is all done. That was a very easy swap, you know, just like the SCX 24s that I'm used to. It's just unbolting it from the bottom. There's no hardware on the top, just these four bolts underneath. The whole thing comes right out, no problem. And then it's just really simple to take the motor off the transmission. There is a little, it's hard to see from that angle, it's kind of tucked in underneath here, but there's a little metal rod that runs from the variable speed servo in the front to the back of the gearbox here that operates your two-speed transmission. It kind of runs along the bottom here behind the frame rail and hooks in onto the back of the gearbox here and it pulls a knob in and out to operate the two-speed transmission. So just be careful if you do this swap, don't like manhandle this too hard because that's a very thin metal rod there. I didn't have any issues with it. It seems sturdy, but just a word of caution there. It was easy to link back up. Everything bolted right up, no issues whatsoever. Fit and finish is, is excellent. Like I said earlier, it is virtually identical to the stock motor, less the stickers on the side here. So there were no fitment issues whatsoever, bolted right up there, very quick install, very painless, but it should be ready to go. So why don't we get this thing fired up and we're gonna surprise Axel with it, see what he thinks, and then we're gonna get after our speed runs. Axel, I've done something terrible to your monster truck. Something's wrong with it. What's wrong? Something's really wrong with it. Shoulder. It's, it's, I don't know how to say this, but it's extremely fast. I'm running fast. <laughs> what do you think? Oh my gosh. It is so fast. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> wow! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Ready, set, go. <laughs> I won! Right there. So we have the mutant gladiator with the big block mofo motor and we have the speed demon max smasher on the left are you ready buddy yeah ready set go <laughs> all right ready set 
Go. <laughs> I won. That's the fastest truck. Yes. What is so? Oh yeah. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do the Bezgar HM164 Basher against the Max Smasher with the high speed motor because the Max Smasher is unbelievably powerful. So we're gonna put it up against something that's insanely fast. Not by Basher standpoint, but certainly by our fleet. But we're gonna take this outside because it's way too much speed to do it in the confined space here in the basement. It's a little dark out here, but I think we can see. Count us down, buddy. Go! <laughs> Are we ready? We can try this again. Line it. You're going straight for the Jeep. You don't want to hit the Jeep. All right. No, I'm ready. ready, set, go. <laughs> so as you can see from the basement speed runs and the kind of messing around that we did with the basher, this thing did not disappoint. It is so fast. It is unbelievable, the difference. I'm completely night and day how fast this thing is. I was not prepared for the reality of the motor being that fast. I watched the videos and I knew it was gonna be faster, but it is a like, it's a ballistic missile. It's so fast, it's crazy. This is the motor it should have come with. It's hilariously fun. But we, uh, we, <laughs> we're gonna keep messing with it. I'd like to get it out on some different scenarios. So we're actually headed to an event this weekend, depending on when I post this video, it might've already happened, but we're gonna take it with us to a crawler event at a hobby store a little ways north of us at Reckless Hobbies. They've got an indoor carpet track and we're gonna see if we can get the Max Smasher on the carpet track to do some jumps and have some fun. Axel loves the carpet track and he's been dying to get out there he takes his power wagon out on it when we go there. But this thing is going to be a whole different level out there. So I'm going to throw the reckless footage in here now and we'll see how this monster truck Max Smasher Speed Demon does on the indoor carpet track. Hit this big jump, buddy. Go for it. <laughs> Hit it. Nice. You almost did a backflip. All right, we are just having too much fun with this thing. It is outrageously fun. On the carpet track was hilarious. People would look at Axel rolling out there with the monster truck, Max Smasher, and could, I could see them looking at him sideways. Like, what is this little kid doing on here? Get him off the track, you know? But then he'd pin it and the thing would rip and you could see their eyes would just blow right up. And I had so many people come up to me like, what have you got done to that thing? Like, what is that? It, and a lot of times we were running it without, without the body because he was smashing it into obstacles and back flipping off of things and the body was just getting pummeled. So a lot of times we were running it naked like this and people would, would stop us and ask what the heck this thing was. It, there were a lot of people there buying the Max Smashers. Like they had a, a big stand of them in the hobby shop and there was a I counted six or seven people who walked out with the FMS boxes under their arms and many of them came out to the track, not on the carpet track, mind you, but I saw a lot of brand new unboxing of Max Smashers there, which is cool. I love to see people having fun with these things. But everyone was shocked when they saw the Max Smasher ripping out there. So next up, we're gonna take this thing out to one of our favorite crawling spots, which is just like a construction site gravel pit set of dirt roads nearby our house. So we're gonna take this out there with the Bezgar Basher again, and we're gonna have some fun and really let these things rip. So let's check that out now.
So at this point I started to get some really nasty driveline noise. It sounds like there's dirt or rock or something stuck in the drive shaft, but it still ran okay, so we kept it going. Ready? Ready? There you go. Oh! Ready? Ready? There you go. Does that count? As, <laughs> does that count as a win for me if you wrecked it under the Jeep? <laughs> So that was a lot of fun taking the Max Smasher out to the wide open pit and dirt road and the gravel pit there. That was the place to go. I think it can really let loose in the nice loose dirt and soft sand. The thing was able to just rip and tear and do donuts and jumps. That was a lot of fun. Very cool stuff. It cannot touch the Bezgar as far as speed goes. It does pretty good only because the Bezgar HM164 is wild. So when my son just nails the throttle, the thing goes ballistic and the Max Smasher can hook up better and it gets a really good jump, but still it's really not, not comparison, but it's super fun to run these things all around. The Max Smasher has taken a beating. I will say the added power and speed does a number to the extra components of the body, especially. So we have, we broke... We broke the bumper completely off. And this was actually at the gravel pit. We had a head-on collision between the Basher and the Max Smasher. And you can see who lost out on that one. The rear bumper also, we broke that off as well. So front and rear, we've lost our bumpers and the body clips are completely gone because they were part of that front end piece as well. So I kind of, you know, I retrofit this rubber band to loop around the chassis to hold the body down. So I'm going to have to get a new body, but totally worth it because it is just unbelievably fun, hilariously fun. I think I've said that a few times in this episode, but that's exactly how I would describe it. It is just a riot. I just laugh out loud every time I hit the throttle with this thing. It is so much fun, super entertaining. And other than the bumpers and kind of these minor plastic pieces, it has held up really well. The drivetrain, the suspension, everything has taken all of the abuse with no problem whatsoever. The steering, everything is good. It's all solid, except for just the, the body that's taken most of the beating. But otherwise, it's pretty solid, and I'm really excited about that. You know, We have put it through the ringer at the carpet track and run it into the bash and everything it's had a rough few days but it's done great so uh, we're super pumped with this thing had so much fun so i highly recommend the high speed motor even if you just have it as an extra so if you want more speed you can toss it in it takes about 10 minutes to install really easy install and then you could put the regular motor back in if you wanted more low speed but even in the low gear it's controllable and it's still very manageable from a speed perspective so you've still got that low gear that you can use this more of like on a slower trail or you know, more of a confined space so again the versatility of the two-speed transmission in this platform is just excellent so i'm really grateful for that and really enjoy it it just makes this thing really capable in a lot of different scenarios and opens it up to a lot of different things so super cool very happy with it so shout out FMS doing a great job. These things are super fun. A lot of people had big smiles on their face running these things at the hobby shop, us included. So very cool stuff. Again, definitely recommend the upgrade if you're looking for more speed and just more fun out of this thing. 
it is a fun upgrade, definitely. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below. What would you think of the high-speed motor? Have you put one of those in your rig yet? I always want to hear from you. So let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching again. I appreciate your time, and we'll see you in the next video.